I always like coming to these events because what brings us together is a, a very strong conviction to make the world a better place. And from my perspective in the environment portfolio, we are really trying to make the environment, the world, a better place. A uh, very strong coalition with the health uh, practitioners, the researchers uh, who are in this Congress. Our pathways are now, I think, permanently joined. We don't need to ask ourselves anymore whether we should be working together. I think the, the, the jury is now well and truly in, the science is in, uh, our Aboriginal people around the world have been telling us, but we've not listened, that if we get closer to nature, we'll be healthier. If we have a clean environment, we'll be better off. That's not a surprise. We're maybe just a bit slow getting to grips with that reality. Um, so I think for us at this Congress, for this session, which I'd have to say is, is fantastically um, uh, well attended, it'll be one we look back on. It'll be one we look back on with pride and being uh, c happy in the knowledge that we're all part of a discussion that actually we got... We, we, we can put to bed the, the debate about whether the world is better for us if we have healthy people and a healthy environment like that. Now that, well, I think that, that's done. I reckon we can bank that. That is uh, cemented. We, we've baked it. That's done. So I reckon uh, from, the, from the point of view of, uh, of what we need to do next, I'll give you three challenges. Uh, we have a lot to do. There's no doubt about that. Um, and thank goodness for IUCN. Thank goodness for the World Health Organization. And how about those two organisations getting closer together and the practitioners and the people who are members getting closer together because I think we'll be an unstoppable force. And I think we need that because uh, if we're all working towards a better world uh, and you know, we don't want a dirtier, more polluted world with un more un unhealthy people, I think that's not what we're heading towards. We want to head towards good stuff and that's why we're here. So my challenge is that we've got a lot to do but I'm pretty convinced we've got the right ingredients. We have the leadership, we have the science, the knowledge, we also have the governance. And we need to be able to garner all those things together and work together to get a better outcome. So my challenge is let's tackle that very, very long list of things we have to do very quickly together. My second challenge is what will we be talking about at the next World Congress? For IUCN, World Conservation Congress in 2020, what will we be talking about? And at the next World Health Organization Congress, what will we be talking about? Because I have a feeling we'll be talking about very similar things, we'll be talking about very similar achievements and how we've combined our efforts and our tools together to get a better outcome for the world. So let's make what we talk about next time a step change and let's be ambitious in that because I don't want us talking about whether or not we should be working together ever again. It's an absolute fact we're going to do that. So let's talk about stuff that really matters and how we've changed things over the next two to four years. My next challenge is an individual challenge. Sitting too long, not good, right? That's uncool. We don't want to be sitting too long because it's bad for our health. We know that because we've had just about every expert in the world telling us that today. So I, my challenge to you is to get up and out and get active. We're in one of the best cities in the world, so go for a walk along South Bank, go up to the Botanic Gardens, go out to one of the, the parks that we have here, enjoy, contemplate, get some quiet repose and take in all the best parts of the city and it, its environs. So um, that's my rounding up of the, uh, of the session and I'll hand back to you, Gerald.